Hello everyone, my name is Heather and I want to welcome you to another episode of Trek Online. If this is your first time joining us, I want to say welcome. And if you've been joining us each week, I want to say welcome and I hope you enjoy this episode. This last week we started a very new series called Epic Teachings of the Bible where we're focusing on the fruit of spirit. So last week we started off with love and this week we're going to be talking about joy. At Trek we split into three different age groups. We have Hop, that is junior kindergarten to senior kindergarten, Skip, that is grades one to three, and Jump, that is grades four to six. And so tonight I want you guys to take a few minutes and I want you to tell your parents or whoever you're watching this with what you think the word joy means. So hop, skip and jump all at the same time. You guys are going to share what you think the word joy means and what joy means to you. All right, and go. Well, I hope you guys got a little bit of a discussion in, and even if it was short. But when we think of the word joy from the Bible, is that joy comes from God, and joy increases in our life. It becomes more and more as we grow in our relationship with Jesus. So that's just a little bit of what joy means, and we're gonna learn in a little bit a story in our Bible that has to do with joy and people who experience joy. Well, we're gonna listen to a little song right now that has to do with the fruit of the spirit. It's kind of our theme song, and if you guys guessed it, it is the fruit of the spirit song. So if you know the actions, stand on up, and we're gonna do this song together. The fruit of the spirit's not a coconut. Fruit of the spirit's not a coconut. If you wanna be a coconut, you might as well hear it, you can't be a fruit of the spirit Cause the fruit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, and gentleness, and self-control Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, and gentleness, and self-control Oh, the fruit of the spirit's not a banana The fruit of the spirit's not a banana You wanna be a banana? You might as well hear it, you can't be a fruit of the spirit Cause the fruit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, and gentleness, and self-control Love and joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, and gentleness, and self-control. Oh, the fruit of the spirit's not a watermelon. The fruit of the spirit's not a watermelon. If you wanna be a watermelon, you might as well hear it. You can't be a fruit of the spirit, cause the fruit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, and gentleness, and self-control. Love and joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, and gentleness, and self-control. Oh, the fruit of the spirit's not a lemon. The fruit of the spirit's not a lemon. If you wanna be a lemon, you might as well hear it. You can't be a fruit of the spirit, cause the fruit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, and gentleness, and self-control. Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, and gentleness, and self-control. Oh, the fruit of the spirit's not a cherry. The fruit of the spirit's not a cherry. If you wanna be a cherry, you might as well hear it. You can't be a fruit of the spirit, cause the fruit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, and gentleness, and self-control. Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, and gentleness, and self-control. Okay, everybody knows that grapes come in bunches, so everybody get in big bunches. The fruit of the spirit's not a grape. The fruit of the spirit's not a grape. You wanna be a grape? You might as well hear it You can't be a fruit of the spirit Cause the fruit is a love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, and gentleness, and self-control Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, and gentleness, and self-control The fruit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, and gentleness, and self-control Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, and gentleness, and self-control Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, and gentleness, and self-control that song is a favorite song at Trek, so I hope you guys enjoyed it. 
This, over the next few weeks, we're also going to be learning a memory verse together, and it is found in Galatians 5.22, and it says, But the Holy Spirit, Spirit produces this kind of fruit in our lives. Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. So if you guys practice that verse and you memorize it, I would love to hear you say it and we can share it here with others. Speaking of sharing videos, we have a few videos that you guys have sent in this past week of what you guys have been up to and we love seeing them. So I hope you guys enjoy seeing your friends and getting a glimpse of what their week looked like. Thanks so much for sending in those pictures and videos. If you guys have a picture or a video that you want to send in of what you've been up to this past week, you can send it here and I'll add it to next week's video. Next, we're going to sing some songs together. So if you guys want to stand on up, you can follow along with the actions and learn some new words. So I hope you guys enjoy these songs together. You are powerful and 
true You will always see me through Mighty, mighty is our God Mighty, 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 mighty travel around to different rooms. We have a Bible room, a craft and snack room, a games room, and that's all of our rooms. So we have lots of fun traveling around in our teams to those different rooms. And so we try to create that here. So we are going to do a craft together tonight. So if you want to grab a piece of paper and some markers, we are going to draw a picture together. Lemonade. Yes, we're gonna draw a really tasty lemonade. <laughs> we hope you're gonna follow along with us. You have a marker and some paper. You ready to start? Yeah. Now also for this lesson, we're gonna use a pencil. So we're using our Sharpie, but there's a one step that we're gonna use our pencil. So I'm gonna put that off to the side and we can use that a little bit later. Okay. So we're gonna first start by drawing our lemon slice. We're gonna draw a circle up here in the top left of our paper. So we're gonna draw a circle. Don't want it to be too big. About that size. Right here? Yeah, that's a good spot, yep. Okay. Okay, now we're gonna draw another circle that goes around that one, and we wanna draw it right next to it. This is going to be the peel for a lemon. Okay. Let's go around. Yeah, good job. Great, okay, now we're gonna switch to our pencil and we can share this pencil. Okay. We're gonna do a circle inside of those two circles we just drew. So the reason why we're doing a pencil for this step is because we're gonna draw some guidelines first for the little wedges inside of our slice. So we're gonna draw this circle. So go ahead and you draw another circle inside. Good, keep going. And we also want to remember to press very lightly so that we can erase these lines at the end. Yes. Good, okay, now we're gonna draw two lines right down the middle, like this. And then we're gonna draw two lines going across like that. Okay. You wanna do that? Mm-hmm. Good, now we're gonna draw two more lines going diagonal, going right through the middle. And we're going to draw two lines going diagonal the other direction. It's going to look like an X when we're done. So an X on top of a plus. <laughs> Perfect heads. Okay, we're done with our pencil, at least for now. We're going to use our markers. We'll switch back to them. And now we're going to draw on some of these lines, but not all of them. Kay. So watch me. I'm going to go down and create a V like that. And then we'll connect the top of the V. So it looks like a little triangle when we're done. Then we're gonna to move to the next one, go down, back up, and connect like that. And we'll go all the way around. Do you wanna do the same thing? Go all the way around, connect the okay. triangles. All right, once we're finished going around and creating all of those slices, we can switch back to our pencil. Now we're gonna use our eraser and erase all of the extra guidelines. Okay. Okay, we got all of those extra guidelines all erased and now our lemon slice looks amazing. Yes. That was pretty easy, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. <laughs> it even looks like an orange slice. Yeah. Okay, now you ready to draw the rest of our, our lemonade glass? Yeah. Okay, we're gonna draw the top of our glass next and we're gonna draw an oval shape. We're gonna start right here in the middle of our lemon and we're gonna draw an oval that comes around back into our lemon. So you're gonna draw, you're gonna start in the middle, draw it really big, and then come back, and we want to stop when we hit the outside of our lemon. 
This is going to make that lemon slice look like it's stuck on the rim of our glass. Mm -hmm. Perfect. I like it. <laughs> it's okay that they look different, right? Yeah. The most important thing is? To have fun. Yes, to have fun. Yeah. <laughs> okay, now we're going to draw the outside of our rim, the outside of our glass. So we're going to draw another line that comes around the top and starts curving, but we're going to stop. So we'll start here, curve around, and then stop right there. <laughs> That's okay. All right, now we're going to draw the sides of our glass and we're going to start really wide and then come close down to the bottom. So we're going to draw this line that first comes down like this. Look at that, it comes all the way down. We could start right there, draw it down here, and draw it really tall. And then we're going to do the same thing over here. Draw it coming down. And we want it to come down to the same length as the right side. Okay, now down at the bottom, we're going to draw a curve to connect the two. So we're going to draw a curve that comes down and back up. Back up. Back up. Yeah. All right, now we need to draw the lemonade inside of our glass. So we're going to draw another oval just like this one. And we're going to draw it a little bit lower. So we'll start right here. We're going to draw an oval. It's a little tricky, so if you need extra time for a step, you can always pause the video. Okay, so we're gonna start right here, draw an oval that comes over, and we don't wanna touch the edges of the glasses. We wanna draw it inside. So start here, oval. <laughs> yes, and then back. There's the top of our lemonade. Let's draw the side of the lemonade inside of the glass. So we're gonna draw lines that come down and match the outside. Yeah! <laughs> and then down at the bottom, we're gonna draw another oval. Watch this, we're gonna match the bottom, come around, and then back. Whoa, tricky, Three huh? Three levels. <laughs> Three levels. So we're gonna come down, match the bottom, and then circle back and create an oval. Cool. All right, what is our lemonade glass missing? A straw. Yeah, it's missing a straw. So let's draw two diagonal lines. We're gonna start with the first one, like this, and we're gonna go all the way through because we can see through the lemonade and we can see through the glass. Mm -hmm. so we're gonna draw a line that comes all the way down. Start up here, draw all the way down. You can even draw it all the way down to the bottom. Bottom. <laughs> Yes, now we're gonna draw one right next to it. And we want them to be parallel, that means we're going right side by side. Okay, now we're gonna draw the bottom of our straw, so we'll connect these two lines. It's a little curve. Okay, and then at the top, we're gonna draw a little curve and a straight line because our straw is bent. Roller coaster. <laughs> what? Roller coaster. Roller coaster line. Wee, wee. <laughs> Good. Now we're going to match that same line with the outside. We draw a curve and then draw a parallel line that comes down that. Do, 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 do. Another roller coaster wee. line. <laughs> Good. <laughs> and then right here at the end, we're going to draw another oval to connect them. There's the, the opening of the straw. Okay, now it's a bendy straw, and usually there's little lines, so we're going to draw curved lines that go around the bendy part. Bendy part! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, our lemonade looks a little warm, doesn't it? Yeah. How can we make it colder? Uh, ice. Ice. Let's put one ice cube in there. We're going to draw a V right here, and we're going to overlap behind the straw. It looks like an L. It looks like an L, yeah. It looks more like an L than it does a V, doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Sideways L. Sideways. So come down and then connect to the straw. Good. Now we're going to draw the top of the ice cube and we're going to repeat it. We'll draw it like this and then connect. Okay. Oh, oh no. <laughs> <laughs> Whoops. We forgot to go up and down. It's okay. Your ice cube looks a little sharp. <laughs> That's totally fine, right? Yeah. No mistakes, because what's the most important thing? To have fun. Yeah. Are you having fun? Yeah. <laughs> With your sharp ice. <laughs> now, our ice cube looks like a piece of paper, so let's make it look 3D. We're going to draw a diagonal line coming down, 
and we want it to be the same on both corners. So let's draw a diagonal line here and then also a diagonal line here. A table and lemonade. Yeah, it looks like a table now. Not mine. Inside of a, <laughs> a sharp table. Sharp <laughs> table. <laughs> okay, now we're going to connect these lines. Watch this. We're going to connect there. And then we're also going to connect. It's almost like we're drawing another L. Oh, it looks dirty. Like uh, it's yeah, it's tipped, huh? Tipped. Yeah, yeah, even though you have the corner missing, 3D. it still looks 3D. <laughs> yeah. Good job, Hads. You did awesome. <laughs> well, we finished our drawings. We're going to leave it just like this, except we're missing one last thing, right? Yeah. What are we missing? The color. Yeah, we need a color. You ready to color? Yeah. Let's do it. One, one two, two, three. Oh, of course you colored yours pink. It's strawberry lemonade. <laughs> oh, it's strawberry lemonade. Well, that makes a lot more sense. Mine's just regular old plain lemonade. <laughs> Boring lemonade. <laughs> we hope you had a lot of fun drawing and coloring your lemonade with us, and we'll see you later, our friends. Goodbye. We are going to have our Bible time tonight. So if you guys want to grab a seat, we are going to dig into the Bible. So our Bible story tonight is about joy, one of the fruit of the Spirit. And we learned that as we grow in our relationship with Jesus, that we obey him, the fruit of the Spirit in our life grows too. And so one of those fruit is joy. And tonight we're going to look at some people in the Bible who were going through a hard time, but still showed joy. And that's what joy is all about, is that even when we're going through a hard time, that we can shift our focus and still find a way to rejoice and celebrate who God is. So let's listen to our story tonight. Paul and Silas. So part of God's story is about two men named Paul and Silas, and it begins like this. Paul and Silas were friends who decided they wanted to serve God. Serving somebody means you try to help them. It can be as easy as holding open a door or setting the table, or as difficult as scraping chewed gum off the bottom of their shoes, or worse, picking out the lint from their belly button. Thankfully, God doesn't need help like that. God wanted Paul and Silas to help him by telling his story to others. God's story is all about his love. God is the main character and he loves everyone and wants everyone in the whole world to know him. Do you think you can tell people God's story? One day, Paul and Silas were in a city called Philippi. Some of the people there didn't want to hear about God's story and they got really, really mad at Paul and Silas for telling the story every single day. In fact, they got so mad, they beat up Paul and Silas right in the middle of the street. Then they threw Paul and Silas in jail. Now remember, Paul and Silas were just trying to tell them about God. And now they found themselves behind bars in prison. Once they were in jail, you might think Paul and Silas got scared to keep serving God. But they didn't. In fact, they wanted to worship God. Worshiping can be playing an instrument, singing, praying, listening, sharing your things with people who need them, and other stuff too. But all those things are a way to show you really love God. Anyway, Paul and Silas decided to worship by singing songs to God. They sing so loud the whole jail could hear. It was like having a dance party right there in prison. Kind of weird, huh? But that's what Paul and Silas were doing. Sometimes you can look a little weird when you're serving others or worshiping God. But that's okay. Well, God was with Paul and Silas. Right in the middle of their dance party, a huge earthquake began to shake the whole jail. All the doors swung open and Paul and Silas' handcuffs fell right off their hands. They were free. So, what do you think Paul and Silas did? Well, they knew that if they ran away, the jail guard would be punished for losing his prisoners. Paul and Silas didn't want that to happen, so they decided to stay in jail, even though the doors were open. When the earthquake was over, the guard thought he was in big trouble. He felt more sad than he had ever felt in his whole life. But suddenly, Paul yelled out, We're all still here! Nobody's run away! The guard was so surprised and happy that he invited Paul and Silas over for dinner and to spend the night. But it might seem strange that the guard was going to get in big trouble if the prisoners were gone, and then he took two of them home with him. But that's what he did. Well, the guard's family was so happy he didn't get into trouble that they listened to Paul and Silas tell God's story. Because the story is such good news, the family realized God loves them. They decided they wanted to be a part of God's story too. Paul and Silas were allowed to go home the next morning. They knew now that serving God would be hard sometimes. But they decided that even if people were going to get mad at them, ask them to help them with things they didn't want to do, beat them up, send them to jail again, or worse, they would still keep on serving God by telling his story. And that's the story of Paul and Silas. So in case you missed it, 
Here's the quick version. Paul and Silas were two friends. They wanted to serve God. They told people God's story. Some people didn't want to hear it. Those people threw Paul and Silas in jail. Paul and Silas weren't scared. They had a dance party to worship God. God opened the jail doors with an earthquake. Paul and Silas stayed to tell the jail guard about God. They went free and kept on serving God. And that's a part of God's story. So joy is the fruit of the Spirit. And in our story tonight, we saw an example of that. Even when we're going through hard times, God's joy can be our strength. And that's actually a verse in the Bible. In Nehemiah 8 verse 10, it says that the joy of the Lord is our strength. And so that doesn't mean that we're not going to go through hard times as we have a relationship with Jesus, but that we'll find strength in his joy no matter what is happening in our lives. Well, guys, that's all I have for you this week, so I'm going to pray for you before we head off. God, thank you so much for each boy and girl, mom and dad that is listening. And God, I pray that this week that we would find strength in your joy, that no matter what we're going through, that we would be able to shift our focus and rejoice in who you are and be thankful for who you are. So be with us this week. I pray that we would all enjoy the weather. We're so thankful for the sunshine that you have given us. In your name we pray. Amen. Well, guys, have a great week and I'll see you next time. Bye. And it says, but the Holy Spirit says we have a relationship with Jesus. I thank you for joy that no matter what. Amen. Amen. Amen.